There we go. Oh. Now we're live. And it does say, well, that didn't... It update. says, I don't know why that says that. Hey, welcome to Built from Bricks. I'm Brian. I'm Drew. <laughs> and which camera are you looking at I'm again? looking at that one, I can always. look at this one, too. I'm always looking at that I'm one. on both screens. I'm going to have to move that one down. So we're talking a few things today. And the first thing, if you see the picture, is the Eblox. So Eblox is a system of lighted bricks that Drew is holding up right there. And they are Lego compatible. And they can they also stand alone, and kids can make their own types of creations with them. Yeah, they, it's a, they light up. Uh, so learning about electro electricity and circuitry and, and things like that. So hello, Imperial Officer. Welcome. Hey. I always like seeing him in the chat. Yeah. So we're going to show you how the e-blocks work. And I still have been looking for solutions for lighting my city and what the best solution is. And there's so many different stuff out there. There's e-blocks, there's i-bricks, there's, there's tons of them. There's a lot of things. And I haven't found one that I completely hey, love Adam. that is affordable. I have? No, I said, hey, Adam. Sorry. Oh. This is one of my friends. Hello, Adam. <laughs> and Master Builder 8. Master Builder 8, hello. Because there is, there's actually seven Master Builders in the world. Is there seven Master Builders in the world? Is there? There's only that many? Oh, there's very few. Oh. I know okay. two of them. One really well, but... Yeah. So, that's Paul. I, I didn't know that there was only there's, that. There's very limited limit of master builders. I don't know how many are in Bill in, in Denmark, but... Uh, interesting. So, Adam's your so, friend. So, yeah. so Drew's going to open that up, and you know what we can do is yeah, why don't we either move this camera down so we can get it on the table. Or I can turn this one, and we can do the... Uh... Okay. Which camera we get? I don't know, because why is this not showing anything? Did it freeze what on What camera is that? I think it froze. <laughs> this one? Hey, that's great. Now you can fix it right now. All right. It figures your camera We'll get, get it to unfreeze. <laughs> is it, it's not, is it life cam too, right? Uh, could be. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're going to fix the camera. Wow. So, Master Builder 8, you're the new Master Builder? <laughs> is he? Uh, there we go. Activate. I saw it deactivate, so let's have it activate again. There hey, we look go. at that. Hey. That's a good one. It works. Yes. All right. So we're looking at this. Had to have the technical guy come in and, and fix that. <laughs> we're looking at this here. Uh, this is the Eblox parts starter kit, okay? And it's for ages 8 and up. Uh, I received this for free so that uh, we could review it here on the show. And um, it has, does it say how many? It it requires one 9-volt battery, which I actually put in earlier. He did put it in earlier. He put it in backwards. I put you didn't have to tell everybody that, but yeah, I did. Sorry. I made a mistake. What do you think? Yeah. Who do you, then the question goes to, who do you think will die in Infinity War? <laughs> really? Was that? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. That was last week's show. Uh, <laughs> we talked we, all, we are going to talk a little bit about Infinity War in a bit. Infinity uh, War involving the Sanctum Sanctorum, which I built here. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. And we're going to do oh, that talk about E-Bricks. E E blocks. E blocks, sorry. E blocks. Did we even say bricks? E no, blocks. I, I said blocks. Okay. I said I bricks. E blocks. So E blocks, and then I'm gonna put something. One of the E blocks set up in here. Yeah. So, okay. So what we have here, we open that up. And they're uh, falling everywhere. And I knock them all out. Well, they were all nice and tight there, but there is the main block right here, and this is the power brick, power block, and it has little. It has a little switch on the side. And what you do is you can attach one of these little light chips. If you can get them out of the box. <laughs> oh, I, could, I could have just dumped them all out like I did before. And then so what you do is you attach it to make sure that the plus is with the plus, the minus is with the minus. That's what you got to show the kids that. Captain America will die, I think. And then you flick it, and it turns on. So there are some different... There's some different things. <laughs> They're not listening to us talk no. about e blocks, but last week all we wanted to talk about was Infinity War, and this week is all you want to do is talk about Infinity War. You didn't talk about it last week, but this week you want to talk about. We it. can talk about both. We're going to talk about Infinity War and e blocks. Yeah. Bring this closer. It's lit so, up. So that's all lit up. But what's neat is that if we want to, you know, move that further in, further <laughs> inward. Deadpool, Dead, Deadpool 2. If you want to move this light, like he's talking about, it's here on the edge on these two bricks, which you can just tap it, it touches. 
you can pop on another brick like this, and they're gonna <laughs> Deadpool two. I can't wait for Deadpool two. And then now you can see that I situated the light in the middle. So the starter kit was thirty four thirty four ninety nine yep. for the starter kit. Um, I see it, and I'll show you what we did. We built it into the house here, and I'm gonna do that, and you can see it lit up. And then we can talk Infinity War and a little bit about the e -blocks. Yeah, we we'll talk more. So, but let's. Uh, we were able to. We were doing a certain. I'm gonna do this over here so they can see it. All right. So right build here. Build the camera. Um, let me get the camera down so you can see me. Oh look, a shiny brick. Yeah. <laughs> They're easily distracted here. <laughs> I am so, too. I'm going to make this go a little bit further, but you would think that maybe these two touching would be able to. But there's not enough space for them to touch, so you have to use a connector, like a one by two to connect yeah, them. Yeah, a one by two plate right there to connect. Oh, fine. Can the e blocks light up an entire build? Oh, if they're 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 giving in. So now we can talk both. Yeah, um, we'll talk both. e blocks can. You'll see in a second. I'm going to put it inside this Infinity War building. And so. There, there are different ones, and they say, like, R, G, or B, so they got red, blue, or green. Hey, you don't need to see me. You can see the, you can see the building instead. How's that? So if I want, you know, I got red on one side, blue on another. And then we could probably, we could put it inside a building, or we could do two red. Doesn't matter. But where's the little... I got it. All right, so we got that. I'm going to pop this in the... Actually, I'm going to do it this side, so I don't want to hit the switch. Yep. Put this in here. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. I may have to turn the lights off. That'd be cool. I'm not going to close it away right now. You can't tell. Okay. I put Let the block the in there. Off. Shut off the main light right there. So we'll see what it looks like lit up if this works. Can you see it? No, it's still too bright. Hold on. Getting dark in here. No, it's already. Oh, well, it's not cold because you left the. the oh, heater I left the on. heater on. Oops. Shut oh, that off. And there's another light. Behind. Oh, see, so you can see. You can see it though. You yeah. can see that it's. In the camera here, you can see that it's lighting up blue and red on the top there. So that's neat because it mixes it a little bit green, a little bit. Yeah, off. so from the back, it actually looks pretty cool, lit up from the back like that. Master Builder likes my zoo. Thank you, thank you. I've been, I finally brought it back, and I'm gonna be adding some more to it. So I'm glad people like the zoo. I got a lot of comments on it, and people suggesting some new things. So, as you can see here, the E blocks is lighting up the top of the Sanctum Sanctorum. A little mood lighting in here. We're gonna turn the lights back on. <laughs> I turn my heat heat source off though, because I it probably sounds really loud to you guys on the camera. Yeah, I just I'm waiting for on Saturday. I was talking to Walmart. They have some ba they sell the large base plates, the 48 by 48s for 12 bucks a piece. Really? So okay. the lady I was talking to today said they're come they're getting a shipment on Friday night. Okay. Late, so come Saturday and they should be there. I'm like, because they're 12 bucks in that Lego store, they're 15. Cool. Now you can, you know, you can put as many of these across as you want, all the different colors. Can we light up? Yeah, we can. Oh, that one didn't I light. put backwards. it the wrong way, backwards. I didn't look. And didn't then look one first. more on top of, even if you build up higher, right? So you get some. Yeah, you could. You build could. this one up higher. All right. Just make like a column so it can go like this. How much money does e blocks cost? Well, this set is. It said thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four, yeah. Now there is def there's definitely different there's different types of lighting blocks that I've seen. This is one of them. I mentioned another one which is eye bricks, and they're really expensive too. They're they're a wireless um, brick though. It's pretty cool. So you can have a there's a special base plate somehow where I don't know how it works with inductive electricity, and you can drop them right on top of it. It just lights up. This is this is different. This uses like circuits. So basically, yeah. this uses. You can see it there. I know I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna wash out the lights because of the light, but. Is it cheaper than brick stuff? I don't know brick stuff. What do they have? What does brick stuff have? Do you know what they're talking about? Brick I'm stuff? I'm not sure. I don't know what brick I stuff I wish is. the lights in general were, were better because they're... They are really expensive. Brick stuff. Small... Oh, so here's another one. We're the feature of all kinds of lights. I'll have to look at this one later. It, all of them, when you when you use them... Now, this one isn't specifically... And, they've, and they don't state... On their side, I don't believe that this is, you know, build into your Lego models. This is more for learning right. circuits and how things work and... Yeah, but then they do But have it's also Lego compatible. Right. STEAM. It's definitely for STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So here you can see... Oh, he's getting on the camera there where he built a little... Yeah, I mean, as long as you've, 
you've completed a circuit, then these will light up. And that's that's basically what you're being taught here in this starter starter pack. The they part, the part I wish was a little different was that I could make just one column and light stuff up. So you could put build this into the side of a building because having to do two, and you need all these bricks, it's hard to. What do you mean light up one column? So like say oh. there's one as long as one brick was touching one power source that it would light up. That would be a different. It'd have to work in a different se in, in series, not parallel or okay. something like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure what you're trying to do. I'm right. just wishing that the, the system worked where you, right now you need two contacts and you have to touch yes. it like this. Okay. I wish there was just one contact, you put a brick, and it lit up. Okay. I'm sure there's a, that's a, di a different technology. You can do that kind of technology too. It works. Oh, different. okay. Because then you could easily build this up into a building and, yep. and put it up the side of a building. And when you do that, that's telling you, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, when you loop it together, it you've crosses done, the circuit. You've done that wrong. <laughs> yells at you. I guess that way. <laughs> That's well. It's good. It teaches the kids not to do it that way. Uh, that you know, you you have to close a circuit. Yeah. So they have here like. It doesn't use uh -huh. wires though. That's the other thing. A lot of these other lighting kits use wires. Like um, someone mentioned brick stuff, and I can see that brick stuff has a starter kit as well. For and it specifically says for Lego models, but it uses a board. It uses a bunch of wiring, and then you get to branch all this wiring, hide all this wiring inside your inside your city, which can be a. But they look amazing when it's done. It just. It's just yeah. hard to do. Maybe I just need to spend more time on it. Either way, you know, with, with D blocks or whatever, right. you know. Yeah. Because they definitely have some cool stuff. There's a lot of companies that are doing it. They someone lit up the Millennium Falcon. That's cool. Yeah. So well, that looks like they only lit up the front. That. But then and then there's other there's pictures like that's a whole picture. city and it's all lit up. And yeah. it, 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 some, some of these the, guys can see what you're looking at. No, they can't. Me. Oh, I should share the. <laughs> I could have shared the screen, huh? <laughs> I was looking up some stuff. Yeah. Yes, Imperial Office. I was just browsing the web while I was talking to you guys to see what it was. So we're talking e-blocks. We're talking Infinity War, Deadpool, yeah. Lego related. I don't have, or do I? No, I didn't start the Hulkbuster yet. I did. I finished that yesterday. Drew, you should have brought it over. Uh, I'm not going to carry it. Well, I, could, I guess I could have. That was not too bad to fine. carry. Yeah, I did. I finished the Hulkbuster yesterday. I did a, uh, a live stream of it. I didn't finish it on the live stream because... Uh, I got a message saying I had to start dinner. So Oh, I well, dinner is more important. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. So I had to start dinner, so I could not finish that. I did so. want to mention some uh, yeah. mini sig figs that I that I had re I had printed some new sig figs. Where's the Doctor Strange building going in the city? Oh, I could show them that, too. One second. I mm -hmm. want to go with what I was thinking of. Where is this? Can you zoom in more? Or what? So I had this made, which is Use my sig fig Deadpool shirt, which I'm wearing right now. So I wanted a match. I thought that one came out pretty cool. Yep. That's yep. from ImageFX, IMGFX from Nathan Moak. He does awesome stuff. And he does one-offs. So you can do just one figure print-offs if you wanted. I did a couple. I did like six or seven of these. I also did a Nine Inch Nails one. If you're a Nine Inch Nails fan, that's never going to come in. You're never going to see it. But it says, Nin in the, it says Nin in the front of the shirt. And that's another shirt I have. And the last one is a Ghostbusters shirt. So these are all shirts that I have that I thought would be cool to, to, wear, to, Philly to wear to Philly Breakfast. And I can show you where the Doctor Strange bill is going. And actually, let me show you what I'm doing with it because I'm going to lock my... I'm going to build a second one too. But I'm going to keep this side. Ooh, there we go. We can do the front big camera there, this camera. I'm still going to aim it this there way go. for you. I love Nine Inch Nails. Yay! There you go. <laughs> Don't tell me you like this one song, please. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> This is the Pepe's Pizzeria in the front. So I'm going to use this as the front of the building. And if Drew can point that camera yeah, this I'll, way, I'll, 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 I'll show you where it's going. I'll manually zoom it. We're walking, folks. We're walking. We're walking as far as you can. That's your distance you get. Oh, that's the one the long That's the long yeah, one. We can move that one. Yep. So this is going to go, as he goes live in the city, somewhere here. I get it. I'm going to change the base plate it's on. I want to put it on an actual base plate, but I need the 16 by 32s so I can have it in the city right lined up with this with a bigger sidewalk. Because right now it's got a short little two by two sidewalk, not wide enough. Mm -hmm. So I need to do that. And then this will sit here. And the plan is to take this one and then put another building next to it a little higher and another building. So I want to go up like a hill on this side. Well, it would need to be both sides, I guess, in that case, but. Would it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the street has to, no. You, I could leave this open the, yeah. and have the street come up here, and then the there'll be a bridge, come up. bridge over here, like yeah. a tunnel to go through over here. Oh, well, I guess maybe the street wouldn't. 
Because on know. this side, yeah. the bridge of the street would be open. You need a wall. Yeah, yeah, you you need, need a something. wall or something. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's where it's going to go right here. I'll bring it back to the table for now. More things to figure out. I'm always trying to figure something out. That's before you change your mind and completely change it. <laughs> have I heard of Lindsay Sterling? That name sounds familiar. Yes, I have seen her in concert. Who's Lindsay Sterling? That does not She's sound Irish males related. Nope. Oh, did she do, and I'm guessing she, she might have done a cover? She probably did a cover. Yeah, she's awesome. I've seen her in concerts um, uh, once at least. So get that next to this one. And then the original one, which is this one. Get clues, clues. You got Red Sox, you got Ghostbusters, Niners Nails, and Deadpool shirts. I also am scheduling my next Lego tattoo. Hmm. I'm supposed to do it at the tattoo convention, but he can't do the tattoo convention, so I'm going to go schedule it. I'll schedule it tomorrow at lunch. i got to go down there and stop by, and I'll have a Thanos Deadpool tattoo. Cool. Maybe I could just bring Thanos it up. Thanos Deadpool? Thanos and, and um, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, yeah, okay. Lindsay did a cover of Immortal by Evanescence. Ah. She's touring with them. Touring with them. She's touring with them this summer. So yeah. I do. I like this side better. I don't like the way they did this. These railings. I might take those off completely. It's just a weird design. It's they're flimsy. They they open and close. Like I guess for playability, like Drew was saying. I, yeah, I think if you're gonna be busting out that window, then whoever's on the um, I was gonna go flying. Is gonna go flying. Yeah, and that's the point of that. Ah. You gotta look at the play factor, not just. I never look at the in, play factor. How it looks in your video, in your in your uh, um, city there. I just care about the city. Those are cool prints on the minifigures. Thanks. It's like you gotta you know, whip out the craggle. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna share a window in a second, so Drew's gonna keep you entertained while I find oh, that picture. I, of, I am, huh? Yeah, <laughs> okay. you are. Well, sure. I'm gonna bring up that. I, ta- I mentioned the tattoo, and it, it goes along with Infinity Wars because it's got Thanos in it. Yeah, my wife's. Well, how am I going to keep him entertained if you keep talking? I just, <laughs> I just talk. Oh, okay. Then you can keep talking. No, and I'll just play with the. Go ahead. No, talk, I'll just play. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. Nope. So, Iron Spider, one of my favorite pieces out of this set. I haven't got this set yet. This is the ones that I have. I don't have yet. Um, but good thing he was webbed up. He's breaking them. He's breaking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the picture. Save image as. Let's throw on the desktop. My tattoo. I don't know how many of the people have seen <laughs> have seen the other tat my other tattoos, but so oh, we did one on a show. So now I'm gonna add a picture in here and just to pop it on the screen just to show you guys. What are we doing here? Image. That can knock a guy off the building. He's good at that. <laughs> add new source, browse. I'm just telling you where I'm going here. Oh, my tattoo. He's leaning forward like Michael Jackson in Smooth Criminal. So there it is. Uh, <laughs> Let's put this. Where we put this? Spider Man is not my favorite Marvel character. My favorite Marvel character is Iron Man. My is favorite the, Marvel character is Deadpool. Iron Man. This is my. Can you guys see the picture I posted up there? Over the chat. How big is it, Doctor Strange, compared to a modular building? It's pretty close to like the pet. It's the same height as like the pet shop, or the detect, or a little bit shorter than shorter. Al's detective. It's shorter than the pet shop, isn't it? A little bit shorter, not much. Yeah. A little bit. And then the pool hall. It's it's probably it's taller than the pool hall though. I thought it turned out a little bit smaller. So that's the expected. Lego Thanos that was designed by a Lego artist I know. Um, it's far. This is from my wife and daughter. Daughter's Harley Quinn with this iPhone. And this is the butterfly representing my son, CJ, that I have a different tattoo for after he passed away in uh, almost two years ago now. Wow. So this is the next tattoo I'm getting, which is going on my arm somewhere. I think it's going here. <laughs> I don't know how it's fitting, but that's where it's going. Cool. And so you're getting that in a few weeks? Um, hopefully, or yeah. you're just... Okay. No, I'm getting it. I'm going to go schedule it and see when he can do it. Yeah. But that's, yeah... Thanos because of not because the movie was coming out. Thanos is actually my wife's um, maiden name, so everybody thinks that's cool. It is a cool name. Hmm. My father-in-law's last name is Thanos. Cool. So take that Hopefully off. Hopefully, he's not going to treat you like uh, um, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now you haven't seen the. Tra- I bet you haven't seen the trailer yet. Did you watch the trailer? Which trailer? Infinity War. Have you seen Infinity War? I watched one of the trailers, unless there's another one. Is it, did you see the one that I did the live reaction 
Oh, I don't remember now. Now you don't. You don't watch me, and I don't watch you. <laughs> Just <laughs> like, curious, which DC character do you both like? <laughs> I like. I like Batman. Batman. Yeah. You know what I thought would be a good mashup? I thought of this. What I thought was an interesting mashup. Now I can't. Now it's driving. Now I'm gonna drop it because I can't think. Of, I want to tell you guys. Now I forget. I was thinking of it yesterday. Was Batman with? Uh, who the heck was he with? Was it a DC character or was it a Marvel character? I don't remember if they were the same universe or not. No. But there was two characters. I'm like, that'd be a cool matchup together. Wasn't Batman Deadpool? That's kind of. That's kind of one that I think a lot of people would would, would say. Only no, because... it wasn't Batman Deadpool. It was... Oh, so this one spins. Oh, neat. Wasn't Batman Thanos? So this is a little piece here. I don't know what that spins. I, I know it spins. I don't know why it spins. Well, no. that was a water tower. Yeah, it is a water tower. But like, for example. Oh, so he can be up there and he can drop, huh? Batman and Iron Man. I don't like I. No, nah, not Iron Man for me. But push him off. Not yet. Watch. He's setting him up. Can you even see it? Can they even see it? I, well, I'm. I'm. I'm yeah. just. He's putting Spider Man up here. I'm just playing right here. So. Is Robin Nightwing? No, it wasn't that. I don't. Know. <laughs> it just goes down no, 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 no. just a little bit <clears throat> no um, Robin Nightwing what's that what does he mean well one of the Robins became Nightwing uh, uh, what was it um, Grayson Dick Grayson became Nightwing Dick Grayson became Nightwing yeah I still have the other Marvel stuff to there's build there's other Robins too so I still have the the what is the Spider Man Web Warriors bridge battle that I want to build and maybe that could be part of the city as well. Didn't you have two of those? No, I only have one. I didn't get the second one. I'm waiting oh. for it to go like the price to be really cheap. Oh, I thought it's you were gonna, gonna get two of them. I should yeah. get two so I can combine it together into one big bridge. Yeah, that's. A, I thought you already had one around here. Uh, well, maybe I do one. have two. I think you do have two. Because <laughs> I don't that's know. The second one. You think so? I think it's there's one in the um, in the storage in the room. Storage room. I have to check now if I have two bridges or one bridge. I that's, don't remember. That's bad if you can't remember something that big, if you have it or not. <laughs> I was going through, I was doing a live unboxing of a bunch of Hot Wheels cars today, and I couldn't remember if I had Doc Ock or not, but that's one small car out of a whole bunch. You know what fig so, would be cool? Spider pig. Spider pig. <laughs> spider pig would be fun. Spider Spider pig. ham. Spider ham. Uh, no. Um, so what else are we doing today? I it was like a weird show. Like I had the we e blocks planned. And I didn't have a ton planned today. Yeah, I mean we did the stuff with the e block. So and we were talking about this, but you already finished that. I did finish so. that. I'm not starting the second one because the second one I'm actually building. I'm gonna modify it. And on this one, I want to. Yeah. I want to like I said. I'm gonna take off this banister. I'm gonna add some parts here and here. And then I gotta work on the zoo. Some more too as well. Where I did live, I did a live stream with, and you weren't here. I did a live update with it, where I did the aquarium over. I built the, I redid the aquarium. I think people like seeing people as, you know, as you're creating or building live and seeing what they come up with and yeah. how mine more works is weird because I change like direction constantly, such as in the city. I keep moving stuff. Favorite Marvel character and why? Deadpool. Why? Why is Deadpool my favorite character? Because he's an annoying little twit, and he doesn't die. <laughs> I guess that's the the way the the quickest way I can say it. And I see I have a Deadpool shirt. I have a Deadpool tattoo, Lego Deadpool tattoo. I do not have any Black Panther set. Oh, I uh, maybe I do. Do I have I a Black Panther set? No, you didn't get them. I got them. You, see yeah. again? I don't remember what I got. And I did a live stream of it for this channel. Um, oh, that's right. So when I was away, he did the Black Panther build of one of the ships. The Talon. Yeah. I don't have any Black Panther sets. The only I only really want the figures. That's the problem. Hmm. I don't care about the ships too much. If there was a build, if there was a building, a mod, something like like they did for this, I would probably get it. But if, just the ships, I don't. Typically, I just want the minifigures. So, and it's hard to get those by themselves. Yeah. Because people want to jack up the price for those, so it's hard to buy minifigs when that's all I want. So if I see them for a good price, I'll probably pick up Black Panther or a smaller set that has Black Panther in it. There might be a smaller set. The Black Panther ones, those are the smaller sets. Um... You know, if I get one for like twenty bucks. Something like that that they can get Black Panther. They're on sale at Target. So I have to check Black at Target or Walmart. Yeah. I just made a nice friend at Walmart today. If you're watching, I told her about the show. I don't know. I doubt she's watching. But Zabrina was somebody I met at Walmart. We talked Lego for a while, and she was, you know, very helpful and letting me know when some stuff was coming in. I'm looking for some base plates, and she told me when they're coming in. So that was pretty cool. 
So that's a shout out. And he just broke the window. One thing on this was the top. This window here is a little weird where it, it's like this lifts up. Oh, this, right. But the way this closes in is this yeah. strange because there's like a big gap in the front. It doesn't oh. actually sit flush together. Yeah. And that's how it goes. It's just a little weird. Mm. I love Deadpool because he breaks the fourth wall. That too. I, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's also funny it. too. Yeah. I just read the Deadpool versus Thanos comic book that someone bought me for Christmas, which is pretty funny. Because all Deadpool is doing is annoying the crap out of Thanos the whole time. And then Thanos kicks his butt and smashes him to a pulp. But of course he comes back. Because they're both in love with death. Oh. Meaning her death, yeah. her death. So it's funny. And she likes Deadpool. <laughs> but Thanos doesn't want to hear it. Is that the one? Is Thanos flying around in the Thanos helicopter in that one? Mm, no. There, oh, there is a comic book. Maybe. He's, got a, he's in a helicopter yeah, no. and it says Thanos on the side of it. No, it wasn't that then. <laughs> yeah. No. But no. I just thought the book was the book was funny. And yeah, so Deadpool would be my favorite. And I never even heard of Deadpool until my son had you know was into Deadpool. And then after he passed away that's where I um, got re- I, a lot more into Deadpool loved the first movie can't wait for the second movie not kid friendly my son wants to watch the first one so bad do, we, do I like the X-Men I guess you know what I like I think, and it's X-Men related is the show The Gifted have you seen The Gifted I've seen The Gifted and it's yeah. they mention the X-Men a million times in it because they're sure. I don't understand the con- quite the connection they're they're all it's 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 later in the timeline. Imperial officer, if it's a clean joke, you can tell me the answer. But I don't know what does Deadpool and Jason Voorhees have in common. It has to be clean. Keep it clean on here. I don't know what the punchline of this is. I don't know either. <laughs> what does Deadpool and Jason Voorhees have in common? They never die. Oh, oh. I thought it was a joke. The, yeah, and all like, oh, like Jason Voorhees never joke. died because he came back as like a million yeah. times in the. Oh. They never die. I, I, I guess. guess that's so. a joke. <laughs> L- laughter. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Polish. No, never mind. Can't do that. Well, it wasn't a bad word. It was just insensitive. To yes. Some <laughs> so we'll stay away uh, from that. Oh, how did I get hang up on the building there? So you get me hanging out in the building. Yeah, I was putting you on the building and then knocking off the building. And oh, that was me you were knocking off the yeah, building? Yeah, that was you I was knocking I off the building. I just didn't know what he was doing. Over I got there. you hanging around there. You know, doing doing some Spider-Man stuff. I don't know. I think that's this is the one that I'm asking for for my birthday. This set? Yeah. I. Oh, so you said you weren't buying anymore. Exactly. But so then, on the inside, <laughs> I might as well show the inside too. Oh, well, I went and I bought the um, the Guardian ship this week because it was on a uh, it was a good price at Walmart. Because ah. it was going for sixty nine ninety nine, and I found it for fifty six bucks. So I thought that was pretty decent. Nice. Yeah. So the inside of this, you have Doctor Strange's. Half of the house in the in the in my in the front of the house, which has got his you know desk up top, and then a little area down here is like a fighting area. There's like weapons and everything everywhere mm-hmm. in that one, and then some chair and his what do we call this thing again? The time gem. Yeah, he's got the he's got the time, time gems time. hidden behind the bookshelf. Yeah, so like right in right in here, you can move these uh, books out of the way. This is supposed to do something, but uh, Brian doesn't. Brian know, did, I don't know what I'm doing. I built it wrong, apparently. It right. <laughs> Didn't build it right, so you know you, it, it's basically a, a hiding spot for the time gem. Um, so, yeah, this is my favorite. Mogler? I think he Mog- means modular. Modular. Modular, I think he means. Oh. Modular. My favorite modular is probably. I'm thinking of buying this at Target. Is it worth the price range? This for a hundred. Um, it's got a thousand pieces. It's ten cents a piece. So I don't like all of the build. I don't like this part in the. And like I said, I bought two of them, actually. So I don't like this section here. I know that it's probably for playability purposes, but I don't like the what, the technique they did there, the, the brick look. I don't know why they didn't do a similar, like, a mason brick instead. But you can attach people all over the place like Drew keeps doing. That would be perfect for Spider-Man. So for ninety nine ninety nine, it's 11, it's what, 1,000 pieces? It just, it's 1,000 pieces. So it's right at 10 cents a piece. It's not bad. It's got five minifigures. If you like Cull Obsidian, it's got a big minifigure as well and Doctor Strange if you need a Doctor Strange because I didn't like the other Doctor Strange set the one with the tentacle thing with the little cage I don't know that was on the inside of the building oh okay so you can you know if you were doing it wouldn't one, fit in this no though. it wouldn't fit in this but if you were doing say like a um, stop motion you know fit. you have this for the outside and you have that for the inside that's cool that's yeah. true that's a, not a bad idea yeah Drew likes stop motion. I, it takes a lot of time. It does. I haven't had the time to do any of that. Um, one of my favorites is the old fishing store. Old fishing store is one of my favorite modules, as well as I don't know. It's hard to say. I like the Ninjago City, but I also like the 
Um, the Dyer's not one of my favorites. I like the full. I mean, I like the full house life. So it's it's really hard to say. Like I do like, like the fishing village. I was waiting for forever. So I decided about that one, and then the the fishing village is cool. Assembly Square. An interesting. Um, it's got an interesting roof on it. Yeah, um, you know, it's not just uniform like everything else. And if you bring it in here, you can see there's some chaos yeah. going on in mine. Because we get we get that on there. You get the baby up on the ledge up there. And then down there is the grandma trying to catch her, and then you get the flash climbing in the fire truck to help out the situation there. <laughs> yes, I add stupid stuff to the city. Is that you get a Star Wars snow speeder coming in down the street up here, so there's all kinds of wacky stuff I've been adding to the city slowly. You mean a speeder bike? Speeder bike. What did I call it? Snow speeder. What's a snow speeder look like? Uh, Pet shop well, is cool. Of course, it's white. <laughs> Pet shop is cool. Yeah. I like the bike shop too. I mean, it's a little, little modular, but I like the bike shop. Yeah, you got so many different ones. And a lot of the sets like that, where it's a, where the modulars don't have a back, I end up adding a back wall to them because I want to have the enclosed feel of a building. I mean, I'm not using it to play with, so I want it closed up. Which is why, oops, for this, I'm gonna keep it closed. I might even lock it and take off the. We'll take off these hinge pieces. Mm -hmm. If I build a second one, make it modular with tile pieces so I can lift off a floor. Oh, okay. Instead of Take doing it, it this way. way. Okay. So I can't lift off a floor here. Sure. But all I would have to do is... Put some um, jumpers? Put some tiles here with a couple of jumpers in places, yeah. and then you could take it off. Hmm. So, that's, I so might you do could that. modify that so that this would... I could modify know, this one to close yeah. it up to close it up this way. Sure. I'll have to pick it apart to do it, unfortunately. Yeah. But the pet shop is a cool build, though. So this this one's pretty cool. Sorry for yawning on here. Sorry, that's me. What? I started the yawns. Yeah, it's 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 um. It's addicting, the right? They say that. Mm, contagious. Contagious. But I did like. I mean, the building looks cool, and it is cool that it fits with the modulars, and that's why I bought a second one so I can modify it and custom it to make my own. It just gives me that. It gives me the piece count. It gives me pieces. It gives me just some instructions, and I'll go my own way with it as I go. Something, something interesting. No, oh, Adam was asked, telling me I was, I was live. So. Ah. Austin. Oh, Austin. Hey, Austin. I didn't see you were in here. He Austin's from. In. Um, he's glad to see the set live. You just jumped in. You can see that I, you know, I built it. And like I said, it's cool. There's a lot of playability for kids, which is what it's all about. I don't play with them that way, mm -hmm. but it does have a lot of playability. Breakaway windows and whatnot, and yeah. I think Mistbusters did the yawning myth. Not sure the results though. I think <laughs> I've read before that it's that it is a that it is a thing, as they call it. Do you own the Ferris wheel set? I do own the Ferris wheel set, and my work. So I can give you my least favorite set as well. Well, I have two least favorite sets. One of them uh, it's not really a set. It's that little mini Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us. Yes, but with the buck teeth. A, if you have a whole bunch of those now. Maybe they were something. Uh, I was in Toys R Us the other day, and this woman was buying every Jeffrey Giraffe stuffed animal that they had. And go, you know she what? Put it right I, on eBay. Did she really? Yeah. You know what's going to happen? Someone might buy them, yeah. and then they'll be worth nothing. They'll be worth mm. what you paid for them, or less, because if someone yeah. buys them, just, this is Jeffrey. Yeah. Who cares? But this, she had this whole. And you have, you have it. it. Austin has the Jeffrey the, the Giraffe one, or, or the Ferris oh, wheel. Wait, Ferris wheel. So I have the Ferris wheel, and I have. Behind me, if I move over, which way? There we go. We got the. That's not Lego, and I know Austin won't approve, but it is cool. The cyclone. I still have to put the track on. But the cyclone will go with the Ferris wheel in the back of the city. So I thought it was a perfect little thing. You, you see the beach. You got some houses, and behind the houses, you get the amusement park. I thought it's a kind of a cool layout. I need some more smaller houses. I need to design my own. Yeah. Because those I like. I don't think I'm gonna put Kirk's house there. I'm gonna probably take that out. It's just awkward. It doesn't fit with them. Yeah. So I'll probably just put that on it's the side for display. Look. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, my my the giraffe is a fun weird set. Mm. <laughs> and my least favorite big set, I told Austin today what it was, is the Ferris wheel. Not the Ferris wheel. The merry go round. Oh okay. The merry go round. It. I had so much trouble building it, and any little mistake, turning that thing, trying it out, and a piece hits another piece, the center like it fell apart, and I had to take half of it apart to put it back together. I just it was frustrating to build, and it's hmm. too big to, to, to fit anywhere compared to everything else. Like it's huge. Yeah. Next to the Ferris wheel, it's huge. Next to the roller coaster, forget it. It would be out of place. Right. Yeah. So it, it size wise, it's 
too big for my, you know, for me. It's a cool display piece, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't. I might take the pieces off of it. The actual, the, the tiger and the flamingo. I was telling him as well as today, and use them as like decoration in my zoo mm. for kids. Rest in peace, Toys R Us. Kids in the future won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some of their stuff was a bit overpriced. Don't worry, somebody will rip us off soon enough. I heard KB Toys might come back. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, the owner, the guy that yeah. bought, K yeah. that owns KB Toys, it's a company, but the yeah. CEO said that he might do some pop-up stores at Christmas time. They also say that they might, uh, Amazon might buy some of the spaces too. So It's the perfect time to yeah. open small mom-and-pop toy stores because, like I was reading, is that they have all these manufacturers, like Hasbro Mattel, that have all these toys that they want to get out and they have no place mm -hmm. to... Where are they going to put it? Right, right. Walmart? Yeah. There's, only, there's nowhere else to go. You need more toy stores. So it'd be for smaller stores, it'd be kind of a cool time for people to open a toy store. Hmm. Because there's no other place for it to be. Besides Target and Walmart, right. there's no toy stores anymore. Yeah. I mean, there is a, one in the mall, and that's it. What's that? Um, Justin's Toy Store. Uh, that, yeah, uh, there's one store. little mom and pop store. They yeah, have, the, yeah, they the, do have one. That is and he one has Lego. Mom and pop. Yeah. But he has weird Lego because he gets it. It's like older stuff. And yeah, it's not... he actually has one uh, older Spider Man one that I wanted to pick up. So Now I know what I'm going to do. Open a toy store. Me too, Austin. Let's go. <laughs> I gave you the idea. We should do it together. So that. Um, I'd love a toy store. That Hulkbuster set? So I built that yesterday. Yeah, did you get this with it? I did not. So you didn't get this? No. I don't have VIP Black. So this is, must I'm be. You've you so... got to be VIP Black for that. So when you buy the Hulkbuster set, open a toy. Yeah, open a toy store. Um, when you buy the Hulkbuster set, it came with this, right? Yeah. But I also got this one. Is do I think left? I'll answer that in a second. So this is the other one I got, and I Drew said this must be because it's a black VIP that I got this special black and white version of the Hulkbuster because he didn't get one. I got this. I got yeah. both of these at the same time when I'm I go to the VIP, and uh, but I don't have the black VIP card. Okay. Yeah. Do you think Leppin is a ripoff of Lego? The reason I think Leppin is a ripoff of Lego is because they blatantly steal Lego sets and sell them with a Leppin name on it. So if they made their own stuff and they want to do their own thing, that's fine. But hmm. taking a set like this and like making the $40 version of it because they can sell it, I think is why. It's not VIP Black. It's for everyone as long as you bought the house busted during the two days. Okay. Ah, I ordered it. On the night, like at midnight, the day it was available. I must have ordered. So it's really it right limited, I guess. That. It was very limited. I'm. I'm it says limited edition. Right after that, but I got mine. Yeah. So that's why. Especially, anyway. What I was saying about that is when I built it, uh, you, you know, we were talking about how it's not that posable with the legs because the the yeah. knees don't bend. The, the um, ankles are on on ball joints. They're not tight enough. And it leans forward. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's it's really a pain he in that way. Hello, John Pilato. I don't think I've seen you in here. Welcome to Built from Bricks. We've been talking all kinds of stuff today. E oh, the incredible set pictures. I saw some leaked pictures, supposedly. No, I haven't seen that yet. Um, I know they're appearing on shelves in some Walmarts. They're not in my Walmart local yet. I mentioned it to the lady that I was talking about talking to today, and she said she'd let me know when they you know when she came in. Yeah, she took my phone number down, so... Cool. Well, if she lets you know, that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I want the minifigures. I mean, I have some of them from the collectible minifigure set. There was Syndrome. There was... There was other... There wasn't Elastigirl. There was Syndrome, and there was Dash. You mean from the... The C, the collectible minifigures. Yeah, yeah. There was Syndrome. Yeah. There was a, not Elastigirl. Who else was there? It wasn't Mr. Dash. Incredible? Was it Mr. Was Incredible? It Dash? I thought it was Dash. Oh. Just waiting for my Powerpuff sets. <laughs> Powerpuff sets, huh? I'm looking for the incred no the Voltron set the Tron set oh that's coming out soon too yeah. Tron set is coming out I thought in April or is oh, it no is it? Uh, so is Tron coming out before Voltron I haven't heard anything about Voltron I heard Voltron's not till the fall but oh okay well that's good then I can I think yeah I can wait I, I don't need to buy anything Voltron's else. one that I watched when I was little I don't remember a ton of Voltron mm -hmm. but I I mean I know the the gist of the five figures that form the larger figure it's coming on. It's coming on the 31st of March for Tron. Okay, it just looks cool. I mean, yeah. Tron's cool, too. I mean, I haven't seen that in 20-something years, either. I have both the, the old and the new, but I haven't watched yeah. the new one yet. I've never watched the new one. I have it, but I don't... Uh, so. I get my... Did I, I didn't show you, Austin, since you're in here, the... And you can't see it on here very well. Put them over here. Put them over here. Can you get them on there? It's my one of my sig figs now with a nine inch nail shirt, and then the other one. Where is he? Where'd you hide him? Oh, he's hanging. He's hanging on the building. 
Yeah, it's Deadpool me with my Deadpool one. shirt. Watch like this one. So that one's pretty cool. I had those printed. Are you getting the Jurassic World sets? I don't know. I didn't take a big look at them. If there's a building, I'll go for it. That's the thing I look for a lot is buildings. Because then either I use the building the way it is or I modify the building to make it my own to add it to a city. Everything I'm looking for. I like, as you can tell, my favorite theme is probably, as you can tell, city or modular. Yeah. Stuff that I can add to the city. And then just loose bricks so I can build my own stuff. But it's nice working with a set to get some ideas and then build your own stuff off of that as well. Tomb Raider? No, I didn't watch Tomb Raider. Never really watched any of the Tomb Raiders. No? Oh, I watched the first two. I haven't watched this new one. Giving it a 9 out of 10. Well, that's good. I'm ready for watching Ready, ready Player One. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be, I, I actually am going to be doing a giveaway of some Ready Player One stuff. Ah, so. And so Ready Player One, I'm going to see on the 31st, because I have tickets already. Nice. Uh, me and Brendan are going. Cool. And I did. I looked it up because I was like, someone's got to do this. They someone had done a replica, a Lego build of the stacks from Ready Player One. Oh, so it's awesome! Camp, it look, and I yeah. actually followed the guy on Twitter. He followed me back. Yeah. Um, it's cool looking, and yeah, it was cool. it's kind of what I wanted to do, but it's already been done. Like, oh. yeah. I, and I knew it would have been everything I you think of. Someone's done it. Somebody's done it. Somebody's yeah. done it. And yeah. the, but Ready Player One looks awesome, especially if you're grew if you grew up in the '80s. So Austin, I know you're too little. <laughs> what is my Lego channel? Who are you asking? What uh, are you your, asking me? Or are you asking your Brian? Because you're on Bill from Bricks. So it's the Lego channel. I don't know what... Yeah. Who he's asking. <laughs> it got quiet anyway. here. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know who... Yeah, I don't know. What other sets are coming out? Austin's the one to ask, but he can only tell what he can tell. Who is Austin? He works at a Lego store. Oh, is he at the one in, in, in Providence? Yes. Oh. He just gave away his identity. <laughs> uh oh. He can chat in here. Uh huh. Occasionally, Mike's been in the stream. Have I? I probably. Have Austin has to a twin too. that works outside at the watch shop. Outside okay. the Okay. Well, I don't go there that often that I know who. I know all, all of them. Yeah. There's a new guy I met. Well, I didn't actually. He didn't, yeah. he didn't say hi to me, so I didn't meet him. Well, you worked out of there, and you're in and out of there all. I lot. was there today, so I stopped in, said yeah. hi to Austin and Karina. Oh, okay. I'll say what I want. <laughs> wow. So what else is coming out, Austin? Yeah. <laughs> you you can lead the you can lead. Is there anything was, in the back? I was born in 1988, so there's that. <laughs> well, then you technically were in the 80s, Imperial. I was born in 74, so. <laughs> yeah. Me too. <laughs> Unfortunately, 74. Oh, 70s were... I don't remember the 70s. I, I remember... Say, unfortunately, uh, I said me too. It's not unfortunate. No, I don't want to be... I would wish I was younger sometimes. Oh. Drew's channel. Oh, Drew has oh. a channel called... Um, you can say it. Oh, good. I can. Well, I was going to say it, but I'll mess it up. I can out. shout it out. I can mess it up. <laughs> uh, if you just go to youtube.com slash C slash Drew Bennett, and you'll find me. B-E-N-N-E-T-T. So, that's you get that, that? that'll find me. If you search for Ben Spark, which is my username... Uh, you'll get uh, leg presses. Like it's a German word for leg press or something. So it's some uh, some foreign word for leg presses. When you do like the leg the leg lift. Ben Spark. Ben Spark. Yeah. It's not German. All right. Well, yeah, you know, I I knew I, I, I mean, knew like, I knew the I word for said the word for leg in German is mm -hmm. Beine, so it's close to Ben. Well, so it could be Dutch. Who knows? First minifigures came out in '78. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I got some. The little guys who have no arms. No, no arms. No yeah. arms. And then the first policemen yeah. had eye. And then they they added. Yeah. Then they added arms. And I think they were like the policemen were the ones. Just same face on every single one of them. Mine have no faces. Yeah. Had no my, faces. My original ones had no faces. No faces. Yeah. It's use your imagination, or you could draw yeah. it on like in the Lego movie. Be good cop, bad cop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is a little chat, an informal chat today, because I didn't have a ton planned. Um, hope I'm not boring you guys all to death, me and, and Drew here. And yeah, I don't have any other sets, like new stuff. I'm waiting for some new stuff, and it's not like yeah, I have to build. Stack of stuff to build. I have stacks of stuff to build. I have Star yeah. Wars stuff over here. I got a whole room in the other room with stuff to build. You got stuff right by my. Oh, what do we have over there? That. Oh, let's see. You got. Oh, some city yeah, stuff. Let city me see this stuff. one. I could have built this while we were chatting. It's only 195 pieces. You got a Star, another Star Wars. Can thing. we finish this in 15 minutes? You got the egg guy. Uh, I don't know. You could build. Ja you can build Captain Jack. You know. You know why I bought Jack Sparrow? I know why you bought Jack Sparrow because it goes with this, which I just put away. So I bought Jack Sparrow. A while ago, for five bucks, four ninety eight, because of this piece right here, which we can, if you can show them on there. See that piece right there. 
What does that look like to anybody if you're still watching? It goes with, so I'll give you a hint. So I wanted this particular piece, which I can now get on BrickLink, which goes with this particular piece, which might come in or not. There it is. So if you haven't guessed it by now, it's bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. So I thought it would be cool to put in the diner. <laughs> Go on, city theme. I saw some leaked pictures for 2018 release and it had a mammoth and a sabi. Ooh. That was neat. So is it now like I'm going to have to yeah, bacon. Exactly, master builder. <laughs> it's a city theme. Is that like a... Um, What's the city? Museum? What's the city theme? The leaked pictures? Mammoth and saber tooth tiger. Oh, I'm intrigued because that would go in my, in yeah. my zoo. That would be cool. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about that. Now you want now, to... Now he's, off, now he's off and running. Arctic something most likely. Oh, uh, okay. Arctic... Hey, Cade. Hello, Cade. Welcome, Cade. Oh, bacon and eggs. <laughs> well, I guess not. <laughs> well, I guess they didn't get it. <laughs> well, it's the Eggman here yep. and this little piece of... There we go. I'll show it again. Uh, it's oh, wrong much littler. What's that? It says much littler there on the back. Yeah, it looks like bacon. It looks like a piece of raw bacon, so yep. it would be perfect on the, on the grill in the diner or somewhere. I just thought it would be perfect. Someone else... I, it wasn't my original idea, mm. but I thought it was perfect. Cool. Bacon and eggs. So what was he talking about? A saber-toothed tiger and a mammoth? Just, yeah. I'm looking it up while you guys cannot, I cannot see what you're saying now. Mammoth, <laughs> mammoth Lego uh, set. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we find Chima stuff when I do that. Uh, so I don't know. Lego City set, 2008. Oh. Um, no, I'm not finding it right now, Austin. What's that? A Lego woolly oh. mammoth is coming. Someone mentions yeah. it on another blog. Oh, there we go. It's an Arctic set. Yeah. There's a. Oh, that's cool. I, I know you guys can't see it. I could. I don't want to <laughs> share the screen right now, but there is. I found that the le the pictures are horrible, so I'm not gonna bother to show because they're really blurry. Hmm. But that does look cool. A little Arctic set. I mean, the Arctic part of it. Eh. They, yeah. I think they overdo the Arctic stuff. A museum would be a cool way to do that, like the like the uh, night at museum doing like the Smithsonian and having the woolly mammoth in there, yeah. and having a prehistoric like a T Rex bone type thing would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Why don't we make one? <laughs> I don't think it's that cool. Me and Austin make can make one. it in our toy. <laughs> me and Austin can make it in our toy store. There you go. <laughs> Start your toy store with Austin and, and make make uh, Lego. We need a toy display. store slash. A toy store that also has food involved. So we have a little cafe in it, too. Lego mm -hmm. Series 18 will have a fig based off Lego set number 600. I don't know. I know I ordered the... I know there's a guy that I always buy my sets, my Lego minifigure sets from on eBay. And I already ordered the the next series sets. He, and when he gets he gets a bunch, he gets them all. And he parts them and he puts them in mini bags and sends them out. And it's I was talking to Austin, Austin about that today as well. They pay like ten dollars more, twelve dollars more, even with shipping. Wow! On eBay, like I pay eighty-five bucks for the. 60, yeah. yeah it ends up being like maybe five to ten dollars more. Huh? And then I don't have to sit there and sort, search them all. He said that's the fun right. of searching. But I don't like the fun of searching it. <laughs> at first, you thought it was Twizzlers. I have to look at that also after. Oh, you thought the bacon was the bacon. Twizzlers? No, it's a piece of raw bacon. It could. I, I can see where you could confuse that for Twizzlers. Possibly. <laughs> If it was a whole white back. If you squint. If you squint and you look with the sun just above your left eye. Yeah. And you tip or, your hat. Or you, do, you know, it's a rubber pencil. It's a rubber pencil. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done that. You've never done that one? I remember that. Oh, yeah, it does look rubber. Well, no, I, I, we used to do the sausage thing with our fingers. You do yeah. this and then you go. Yeah, I forget. Have that. I heard about the 2018 Lego trains? <laughs> no, Lego train. I guess I'm, I got to read up on my rumors and stuff because I don't yeah, I might have seen something on a train and it didn't impress me, so I just ignored it. That could have been why. There's some of the sets here that we were showing. Different sets, random sets. That this city. Yeah, I don't think anybody really wants to watch your hands. <laughs> no. So that's what. And then you move it. And you move it where I move the ca I move the camera. Well, there we go. This is the city yeah. set with the yeah. little windsurfer there, wind boat, whatever that is. I have that. Oh, it's I like a sailboat type thing. It's a sailboat. That's a sailboat. It's a schooner. Sailboat, a schooner is a sailboat. No, Kate, I don't know the trains that well, then I can't comment on it because I don't remember what was said about what was said about that. So hmm. <laughs> I gotta paint the wall back. I gotta take those white boards down and paint that concrete blue. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's like a skyline. That's the next plan? Huh? That's the next plan? Well, it's just painted blue, so there's a sky behind the city. <laughs> Maybe some cloud, puffy clouds on it with some with some um, cotton balls or something. I can do a sp- uh, cloud. I'll mm. try it. I draw it. I can probably paint it. Yeah. There's a police figure from the Series 18 that's based off an old... Oh, that's cool. You're searching on the side. <laughs> if you get a link, post... Uh, I'll. You can put the link in there if you find the link. Hmm. We have a little bit of time left. I, like I said, we're just chatting today. Sorry if I'm... Nothing too exciting. We talked about e-blocks, which I wanted to no. thank them and um, for sending those to Drew so we could talk about e-blocks. They work cool. They're cool learning. They're a cool learning thing, a cool Steam thing. They won't work for me that well in my city the way I build the sets and everything. It's kind of hard to hide that block. And if I do hide the, the box, the transformer, the power inside, I can't turn it on and off because there's a switch on it. So it'd have to be out, and then I have to get those bricks up the side of the building. So it, it would be tricky for me to use it. You'd have to, you'd have to build it. You'd have to, you know, you'd have to... Build it uh, where you can open it up, have it built into the house, and yeah. turn it on and off when you want to turn it on and off. Right. I mean, if you built something from the ground up with that in, incorporated into it, then you could build it so that the switch is somewhere where you could easily get, uh, you know, get to it if you wanted to. So, yeah. yeah. Do I have any suggestions about making your city better? And who... Your city itself... So one thing that I say for making cities better is... And I don't know how old you are, so that is a, a factor in as well, but I take my inspirations from I take my inspirations from stuff that I've experienced in my life. So like places I've been, beaches I've been to, buildings I've seen, even so, like New York City sidewalks and like that type of stuff. I get ideas from where I've been and that's how I incorporate it. But then I don't also like to I don't use road plates. I make my own roads. I make my own sidewalks. I like to add texture and heights and different features just to make it not a flat surface. I mean, you could easily put a bunch of green base plates and say, hey, that's grass. But it can be boring because it's, it's flat. It's one-dimensional almost. Do you ever, when you're uh, when you're out traveling anywhere, do you ever, like, take pictures of things? Like, I have them. I've done that for, yeah. rest, like, buildings, okay. restaurants. Like, I was going to do a Wendy's building because there's a new Wendy's near where I work. Okay. It's like, oh, that'd be a cool building to copy. Or even if it wasn't a Wendy's, make it, like, a cool modern house. Yeah, yeah. So I've done that as well. That's cool. Um, adding, like... You've seen it in some of my things. This boardwalk idea on the beach here was this was from inspired from where my my mother lives. Yeah. So stuff like that. It's all stuff that I've grown up around, or experience. I've tra- I mean, I've traveled. But I'm not old, but not young. So I've been, I've seen a lot. Yeah. Uh, suggestions for a city with limited space. What's what What's the limited space? How much limited space? Is it four by four? Is it is it 10 by 5? You know, what, what space do you got? So my suggestion I have is if you have limited space, build up. Build skyscrapers. Build smaller, like... like, like um, Micro scale. Like Luke Taylor does, mm. a friend of ours who's got his... He doesn't have a channel. He has a Facebook page. He's Instagram. He's got Instagram. Yeah. I f- struck, though, something. I can't remember what, 27, 27, 28. Yeah. He um, does micro scale. So he has these huge, tall buildings. And they're all done with just one by twos and clear pieces for it. They're really cool. Um, stay away from road plates because the road plate takes up almost 19 studs wide. Make your own roads is another is another suggestion that I have. Yep. I mean, those I think are pretty cool. I mean, those are good suggestions. Structure 27. So, if you see on this one. So there's some of the building. He's that's got like his building. That's some of this. I mean, his stuff. Even though it's yeah. micro scale, takes up he, huge he, space. Yeah, uh, but he's got micro scale like so much micro scale. It's crazy. So yeah. So that's some Micropolis, kind of like a Micropolis. His stuff is very futuristic looking, I call it. It reminds me of, if you're familiar with Futurama, it reminds me a little bit of Futurama where he's got spaceports almost, where he has like ships. He has these little mini ships that he, he you know, he parks in, in like, these hangars. Oh, yeah, So it yeah. kind of reminds me of that's Futurama. That's really cool stuff. So that's one way. But if you don't want to do that scale, I just pick a theme, pick a, like a section of a city. Like maybe do like a really detailed version of like one part of a city. Like a shopping area and have it really detailed with like a few shops. But then it's all about the little things because anytime I bring this, and I don't, tra- I'm not like a well known, you know, I have 1,500 subscribers. I'm not that well known, but I did a couple of shows at my son's camp. He's been to one and he was awesome. And the kids noticed every little detail. So I put a banana guy inside the, 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 the Pokeball. That in the, no, not the Pokeball, but I did have myself in a banana Pokeball, but I had like the, the Tower of Ninjutsu. Oh, okay. And I had guys walking around, the banana guy walking yeah. around there, and I had Scooby Doo somewhere else, and they, and they noticed these little things, and they and it's funny for them. They, they pick out these little things. That must have been the first year. Yeah, that was probably okay. the first year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you had a banana guy in the Pokeball the year I went with you. So you have yeah. questions like that. I, 
can definitely answer that type of that type of thing and tell yeah. you what I think would be, you know, what I think is. I, I know a lot of Lego people. I've met a lot of people connections, and I know master builders, and even I know master builder eight now too. Yeah. <laughs> But I've seen a lot of stuff, and these people that are so much better building than I, and I, I'm the first to admit that passenger train orange looks looks like a new front piece. I'll have to check that out. Mm. And if it's orange, I like that. I like a lot of the orange trains, and I, I like orange. Yeah, it does. T- as you can tell, looking at our screen there. Yeah, the brick yeah, walls are orange. Our orange. logo, our logo, or even our new yeah. every our logo is orange, orange. So everything's you know, it's a lot of orange. Mm-hmm. I added some purple and green, some purple in there too, just to you know, some contrasting colors and. Yep. But I, I will um say that so a little space. I mean, just a medium sized table. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah. Like this table, like what I'm sitting at here is probably two feet by four feet. That's pretty small. You could still fit a street. You could do a, a street and decorate it and have a train going in front of it and just do like a small like a section of a city. Sure. I've watched Jang Bricks in the past. Um, he's good. He does. You know, he's been doing it a long time. He's very thorough, and he's got really cool setup. But he, again, he's been doing it a while. I don't know if people send him stuff. If he gets stuff, you know, sent to him for review or for free, I don't get that. So that's the other thing is you know money wise. For small tables, like I said, you can do a lot even on this two by four table. It just you got to do you you got to be limited. You got to think how much can I add to it. You can't or make it modular. So I make my everything on a base plate so I can remove it so not this I didn't I, I, should, I lied this one's locked in because of this but a lot of these I can slide I can lock them in but they slide so I can take a piece out a 32 by 32 plate and put a new building in, in a second yep yeah he's always changing things up in here I am it's changed I don't know how many times since I started working with him over it, a year ago it'll change again too <laughs> yeah it'll change again before it's done Get it'll, it'll, it'll get close to where it is, and then it'll be like, all right, well, I'm going to take all this and this. I don't like this over here. So this diner yeah. was along the boardwalk. I'm moving it back into the city because it's too hot. It was too big to be in the front. Yeah. I haven't decided what's going in that spot, but this is moving back into the city. I could even put it next to the brick bank. I mean, I don't know yet. It's that height. Yeah. I wasn't. I wanted to do mixed height, but it's awkward, and you can't work in the city, and you can't mm-hmm. see the city that way that well. Do I, do I watch just too good? Never heard of it. I don't know what that is. So there's a lot you can do with a medium-sized table. It's just you can't do an enormous city, but you could do a detailed section of a city is what I would say would be the best Yeah. for that. Pick something to focus on. Yeah. Because that's what I think. I, if, I didn't, if I had limited space, I'd probably do something like that. I'd do it really detailed. Like, you know, even, you know sure. adding stuff like that, but even more detail mm-hmm. and funny things and, and think, hidden things and things you can point out to people if they don't catch it. And, right. Or even references to movies or references to, like, mm-hmm. jokes or... And make it modular so you can like Excuse you know me. lift it up lift lift things up, um, you know, and then you have different pieces like you your your um, uh, like if you had a lot of space didn't have a lot of space and, and you just had that skyscraper over there that the apartment building, every floor of that apartment building would have something interesting in it. Yes, yeah, so at that yeah. building there, every floor comes apart. One, you know, I can remove them all separately, and put whatever I want in each one. I'm going to put an elevator in that as well. But that's one that could be on a table. That And it's no bigger than it's 40. I think it's 40 studs wide. I would make one whole floor of a ballroom. One whole floor of ballroom? <laughs> is this a giant ball pit? <laughs> oh, a ball, ball pit? pit? Yeah, like a ball, ball pit. Like, that, you know, people would just be stuck in there. So That could be funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fill the, pen, yeah. the penthouse with little Lego <laughs> balls yep. and do that. Now I'm on three cameras. This is weird. Yeah. Just too good. I figured it was a Lego channel. I don't know. I don't know them. There's so many channels, and there's a lot of channels that have a lot more viewers than me and subscribers than me. We have, you know, a decent amount. I'd like, you know, a hundred times that, but you know, if uh, fifteen hundred, I'd like a hundred and fifty thousand. You know? Sure. But yeah, it takes time. It also takes you guys to to share it and tell people about it too, because it's all all mine is spread pretty much word of mouth. I don't do. I haven't done advertising really. I, a couple times I tried it. it, didn't seem to do anything. Um, I'm not paying for big advertising right now, so word of mouth, getting things out there. Yep. So people like Kate and Master Builder and Imperial and Austin and John put something that was in here. He didn't. He left, I guess. He might be still watching. I don't know. But someone came in and said hello. Yeah. Paluto, Pilate. I forget his name. Pilato. Pilato. Um, they all come in. They say hi. Tell your friends. Like I, I meet people in stores. I'm looking at Lego and they, 
and they um it i just start talking about it i'm making a city make the trains first and build around the trains are hard to put in a city i'm gonna say that right away putting trains in the city a straight line of track is awesome as soon as you get those curves it's very it takes up so it much space, space yeah. they're not tight curves they take yep. up so much space and then building around them is tricky because then you can't they're curved so you have to play with that and a lot of that i think would be to use filler use pieces like this these lots of these grass pieces to fill in areas you don't want dead space like it's hard you don't want you want to get rid of dead space is another is another thing that yeah what state am i in i'm in a state of denial confusion confusion too <laughs> i'm in rhode island perpetual bliss yeah <laughs> i'm in rhode island so that's where i am why imperial you you're nobody seems to be ever near me no no, besides you, but yeah. you don't have a Lego channel, like actual Lego channel. No, I don't have a Lego channel. I do Lego and... every once in a while. So. And struck the... Whenever, whenever I do, Brian gets upset. I do, because you should do it here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You should do it on, on Built From Bricks. Sometimes I just want to do stuff. I wanted to build that, and I wanted to do something, so... I know, I know. You know? I just... So that's what's the... I'm in Rhode Island. If anybody lives near me, maybe we can, you know, have a visit of the studio. It, it looks... A lot worse in person. I, the cameras hide all the junk. Oh, well, you can still see some of it. <laughs> Austin's still there. Oh, Austin, that's he. He lives yeah. near. He, I don't know where he lives. Yeah. He must live in Rhode Island. You gotta be nearby. Austin could come be a. Uh, Austin, guest. you should come on the show as a guest. Yeah, be a guest. You can do that, right? Yeah, guy in the know. You'd have to maybe probably like back, you know, backlight you like they do the the people. Or maybe on, change his voice. His voice changers. Oh, yeah. I I work at a legal store. <laughs> So, yeah, Austin, if you're interested, you should come over sometime, and um, and we could do a show together. That'd be fun to have some guests yeah. on this. I like I had Luke on here, and it was cool. Yeah, I need some more guests. That would be a, a new feature yeah. to have a guest like once a month. Yeah. I've been to Rhode Island once. It was the first time I saw snow. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all we. You can have all the snow. Take it, please. Yeah. All of it. I don't want any of it. We're all done with that. We were supposed to get a big storm yesterday and today, and we didn't get any of it. They, they it was like yeah. a big mess up. They canceled school yesterday. And there was no snow. Yeah. And then today it snowed like all day, but it was like a dusting and nothing happened. And nothing, nothing stuck. <laughs> yeah. So, Austin's not answering me. Think, no, about, think about it. Think about next it. Time. What's that? Yeah. Next well, time you're in the store. You have to he's ask him. listening. He's listening. Well, he said he's still here. He wouldn't say I'm still here, and then like click, I'm gone. Maybe type you know, slow. It's time. It's time for us to to head out anyway. Yeah, we gotta head out. I do have a. So you stay tuned. I do have a city update, which will be... And you saw some of it today in the live stream if you were watching. But I have a city up, a little city update and talk about future plans and expansion of the city. And then i got to work on the zoo. I'm buying some base plates. i got to go to Walmart, though, because they're 3 to $4. What are, what are they at Lego store? $15? Yeah, you said it was 12 12 even mm -hmm. at Walmart. So yeah. it saves $3 a piece. So after buying three of them, you're saving money. So You'll have to hop over to the Hot Wheels side and get that uh, Deadpool Hot Wheels character car. Oh, where is it? It's at Walmart. Is it? It's in the Hot Wheels section. Yeah, the lady at yeah. the at Walmart was telling me how she doesn't like where these people come in, and I said, that, and I'm like, I said, what are they grown men and they're buying like all the Hot Wheels cars, all the new ones, and then selling them on eBay? Yeah, that's. And she goes, do. "You're right. They're they're always grown men." I'm like, yeah. "Yep, <laughs> that's what they do." I know it's frustrating. I, I've kids. been in there when they've been there, and and for ninety seven cents a piece, they, as an adult, they can go and buy a hundred dollars worth, and it's nothing for them. Yeah. And they can buy every one of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I mean, I, I buy them, I open them, I play with them. Yes. Yeah. So. And that's the same with me with yeah. people used to go with Skylanders and buy them and buy the rare ones and keep them and sell them. Yep. And I said, and I called one guy out on it and he was, a, he was not nice about it. And, <laughs> and that's okay because Toys R Us wouldn't sell them anymore to him. He wouldn't sell more than one or yeah. two. They stopped selling. They're like, we're not going to sell them to you. Oh, I got an argument with one guy there. It's probably the same guy. No, not the guy. One of the people who worked there. Oh. Because, the, like, there was no signage about it limiting. And it was like, we had gone in that first morning to buy, you know, one of one of each of them. Because that's, you know, I collected them. And he's like, no, you can only buy two. Two, like, of, two total. Two total, not doesn't matter which ones. Yeah. Oh, I got to show the match with them. So, he's nice. still there. <laughs> he's still there. Not anymore. If it's always a rest. No, not yet. Well, I went, you know what? I went in there today, our local one, and there was a sign that said, uh, no, we don't know when the store is closing. No, we don't know when the sales are starting. So when was that? Today? That was today. Because I read something yeah. yesterday. On, it was supposed to be today. It was supposed to be today. Yeah. That's and why like I had to sign up. Yeah. The problem with Toys R Us closing, and this happens at every store, and people are oblivious, is that 
they'll come in, they'll say, oh, you know, the first week or two, whatever they start, it'll be like mm. 10, 15% off. But they usually raise the prices to like an MSRP price, and then they get, okay, you're getting 10, 15% off, it brings it back to the price that it originally sold it for. And they do that well, a lot. They've, a lot already, of stores. they've already got the prices all jacked anyway. They do. Know? But they're, I'm just mm-hmm. saying, because I saw something in there, it was a Lego to mention something, and it said, it said original price, thirty four ninety seven. our price. I'm like, yeah, their their price original price is always five dollars for those things. That was always five dollars more than everything else because the 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 most expensive set was like twenty nine dollars, and they would not mark it up to thirty five, so thirty four ninety nine. Yeah, and so that's the problem. And so that yeah, okay, it's it's ten percent off or it's fifteen percent off, but you just basically bring it down to the price that it should have been in the first place. Yep. The problem with that is that people don't realize that they buy this stuff because they they think they're getting a deal, and then when the re- when the real deals go and it's 40 percent off, nothing's there. Yeah, it's just so all junk. It's all at that point. So there's not and there's not really anything I plan to go buy there. Yeah. Toys are sponsored by the government in Canada, so. <laughs> well, there. Yeah, it's a. I know. I read that they're staying open in Canada, and then someone that owns them might buy some of the stores here and keep some of them open too. There's a lot of speculation of what we, this one will do and that one will do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Well, it is. Oh, well, we're eight minutes over an hour, mm. so we should probably... That's the time. I'll let you know on that. I don't have transportation right now, but sounds fun. Well, we're, it depends on where you live. We could, you know, too. But yeah. that would be cool to have, you know, we have a Lego employee on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Lego employee on the show. I have to go to Canada for Toys R Us, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You will. There's no Toy Stores left anymore. Everything's at Amazon, Walmart, yep. and Target. Yeah, pretty much it. Yep. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I saw. I keep talking. They keep talking. I see Tar- Target do that with collectible minifigures. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. All these stores do. It. Whatever. Well, guys, thanks. Thanks for watching. I see everybody's in the chat. I'm gonna head out because it is an hour and eight. So I'm eight minutes over, which is fine. I'm not like it doesn't have to be hard time, but I gotta get out of here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out everywhere on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube at Built From Bricks and our live stream every every Thursday at 6 p.m. You gotta tell us what if you got anything you want to see. Comment on the when the when the show gets processed and posted, upload. Tell us what you'd like to see. We can do a build. We can do reviews. We need to do some more challenges. We haven't done a challenge in a while, so a lot of stuff um, coming up as well as new sets coming out, reviews and whatnot. So that's all I got to say. And I'm gonna look over here and say, oh, okay, and say thanks for watching. What have you you built built today? today?